Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager and in today's video, I'm going to show you how the global messages work or you can say like personal messages works in our virtual expo add-on. And to get started, I have logged into the virtual expo area from two different browsers uh, to simulate two users over here. So this is tab one and this should be the tab two. And over here, you'll be able to see uh, the demonstration we're going to give you. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward as well. So to get access to your private or uh, direct messages you can just click on this message tab over here that will open up a chat window and over here you'll be able to find your all chat messages uh, in your virtual expo area okay so over here you'll be able to find all your current active conversations or like past messages with other attendees in one place uh, it's empty because we didn't have any past conversation in this expo with any other attendees uh, but let's get started and if you are wondering how to get started that's pretty simple all you have to do is go to attendee section and over here you'll be able to find all the active attendees in the event itself right so over here it's pretty simple as well you can like even toggle between a list view uh, to view their name or to a grid view to view just their profile picture as it is and i prefer the list view so it shows me like what they are and like uh, what their names are over here you can also search by their name as well in real time uh, if I search in like something else, uh, it will say no result found. But if I indeed like want to search for event 2020, uh, it will bring up that name. So this search uh, like scenario over here is not really comprehensive. Uh, in order to like make this search work, you would have to have like, uh, let's say if you have a lot of attendees over here and you want to search a particular person by their name, you can do that by typing here so that's not the point let's uh, talk about how to get started with the messaging uh, if, let's say if i want to text uh, this event 2020 person over here uh, all i have to do is click on them and it will open a message window uh, with event 2020 so over here we can chat with the guy all right so how to get started is pretty simple you can like type in uh, like your normal chat over here uh, to the person and we will receive that message over here over here Okay, so I can see uh, our direct messages sent to you section has uh, new messages from the person on the other side. So uh, over here we can type our replies and everything over here will get synced in real time. Uh, over here as you can see everything is in synced real time. So this has like the uh, standard chat features like the emojis everything uh, they should work over here just fine out of the box no question asked and everything since they are synced in real time uh, the other person over here will be able to see them as well so let's go there uh, as you can see yeah so uh, how to go back uh, to your direct inboxes you can just click on this little button over here it will take you to your inboxes section and with more attendees you talk with they will appear over here one by one all right and to close the message section of course you can just click on there or to just go back uh, there you can just do this and click on the chat box you want to proceed with and over here you can see like this green indication button over here that means the attendee we are talking with is currently active in the expo area all right but that doesn't mean like when someone is not active you cannot send any message to them but that's not case here if someone is not active uh, let's show sh like have that demonstration over here uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna close this browser tab and it takes like a little time to reflect since uh, it's based on WebRTC technology so WebRTC keeps try to reconnect that person with the server uh, in a few seconds uh, the indication will go off of course uh, but let's say if someone is offline uh, which this person is indeed since we closed the browser tab uh, you will be able to send messages to him regardlessly all right and let's say uh, send when offline and see as, as it, it turned turn to gray because server like has uh, determined that the person is offline or has received a signal that this person is offline so it turned to gray in real time and we can type in like more messages uh, and when the person comes back online let's simulate that scenario so we can just uh, open the expo egg once again and when that happens the person at the other end will get those messages uh, which he received uh, when he was offline so if I open my messages tab you can see 
uh, we indeed have our messages over here send when offline test and offline so they have arrived on our inbox uh, whenever we came online instantly and if we go switch back to our uh, edge browser over here you'll be able to see our green light is back on since we have came back online so that's how seamlessly it works across uh, two attendees or two people in the expo area in terms of direct messaging so this is a little feature i don't think it deserves like much explanation uh, what it allows you to do is like chat with other attendees that's pretty much how simple it is and it has support for offline messaging so with real-time indicator of course so that's pretty much sums it up for this video i hope uh, you have understood it and if you have any confusion let me know in the comments i'll be sure to help you out in there and until next time i'm just saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one